Greetings guys, it's Irish again. Finally found time to do some uh, videos. Uh, hopefully I can get another one out this weekend sometime. Um, but in this video I thought I would maybe start a new series on install, uh, installing uh, distros. So I think it was a year ago I moved one of my machines over to Slackware for at least a good several months. and I really enjoyed it. The Slackware is one of the oldest uh, distros that are remaining. I think it was in the early 90s that it was developed, right as the kernel was, you know, blossoming out. Um, and their installer really hasn't changed much from what I gathered, but I would still like to do my own spin of it and show you guys, kind of do a quote-unquote updated video on it. But uh, Slackware is an independent uh distro it's not based off of anything um, I do not know what the uh, init system is but it is very similar to like OpenRC type of thing from what I've gathered it's really straightforward and it's really good so I'm gonna do this in a virtual machine but I have done this on a actual native hardware it's just simpler for me to do it in a virtual machine I wanted to get this out yesterday, but I was running into some issues with inside um, VirtualBox here. So but I finally got that uh, sorted out for, from help with uh, some of the people in my dis, uh, Discord server. I will leave a link uh, at the bottom of in the description below. But uh, this is going to have 16 gigs of uh, hard drive three gigs of memory so it should be more than efficient uh, just let me check to see if the storage is good yep there it is okay now let's just uh, give this a start so we're gonna close uh, alright we're gonna sorry view Scaled mode switch. There we go. A little bit better here. So now we're just gonna boot. It's pretty. Uh, yeah, this um, this is a pretty straightforward install. It kind of uses a little bit of. Kind of you have to partition it yourself, so it's not automatic uh, partitioning. So you kind of have to know what you're doing a little bit. But after that, um, once you partition it. As you can see, you just say setup and everything works. So we're going to just say root and then we're just going to go into CF disk. I prefer it that way, but you can use F disk or I forget the other one. Um, so we're going to just do a regular DOS. Uh, if you have a UEFI, then it would be GPT. If enough people want that I can do a GPT uh, one or maybe a encrypted one but let me know if you guys want uh, these are other architectures so the most common ones that you'll probably run into is either DOS which is like regular legacy BIOS or UEFI so we'll just do that normally I break this down into three partitions a boot partition, a root partition, and a home partition. But because it's so low, I'm just going to do everything at once. So you're just going to say bootable. Come down over here, hit right, type in yes, and now quit. So once that's done, we are going to, oh, let me get rid of that. We're just going to say set up. So here's what the Lin uh, Slackware Linux setup is. So what you're going to do is go to target. So it's going to start off with your uh, your root partition. Um, and then you can add your boot and otherwise that. But the first one that you do is for your root. So we'll just say that format. I usually do ext4. But you can kind of see what this is uh, for boot partitions. I normally do ext2. Uh, there is JFS, riserfs, which is an older um, file system. 
ButterFS, XFS, so I just usually do ext4. This is what the F stab looks like. Hit OK. Now, if you're doing this from a USB, you would just do a regular, we'll say USB, but because this is virtual machine, it's going to be either a CD or a DVD. So just do that. Um, again, scan for CD drives. We'll just say manual. Okay, so there was one there, so go. So now this is the series of package selections. So by default, it comes with um, two dis uh, desktop environments, which is KDE4 and XFCE. I do not know which version. And then a couple of window managers. You can do KDE5, but it is not straightforward you have to go download uh, something else I can do a video if enough people are curious about that but you can just say various um, I don't do Emacs so I'll just get rid of that you know what just for the heck of this I will just do a full install here so here's the support language uh, international language so you can just do that and then you it just tells you so like the L is system libraries networking uh, text typesetting software X Windows XFCE games uh, we'll hit OK and then we can say full but you can pick and choose which one you want so we'll just do full and then I will be right back So once that's done, you can make a f uh, USB flash boot. I usually just skip this, but that is a more of a security thing. So without this USB stick or whatever, you can't boot into your system. So it's pretty secure if uh, if you accidentally leave your computer somewhere and you just take that, no one can get in. So we'll just hit skip. Uh, Lilo is a very generic bootloader, as you can read. Um, you are not limited to Lilo. You can install Grub. Grub is actually installed, but you do have to use the command line like you do on Gen 2 or Arch. But we'll just say uh, simple. I'll show you guys what Lilo looks like. We'll go standard. Uh, I usually hit cancel on that. I hit no for this. It's just asking for uh, beginning with kernel 2.6.24. So that just shows you how old UTF-8 mode is. Uh, MBR. I would usually hit cancel, but you can connect a USB mouse and stuff like that. But I do have a touchpad on my laptop here. Uh, yes, so host name, I just say Slack, uh, hit OK. For the domain, I just say uh, local, hit OK. And then you can say DHCP or network manager, or you can set up a static IP. I'm uh, doing this through VirtualBox, so I'll just say DHCP, but Normally, I would select Network Manager, and we'll just do that. We'll just hit OK. Hit Yes. So now this is the startup, so you can run CUPS, which is like a printer. <coughs> Demask, which is a... I've done a video on it. It's been a while since I've ran it, but it masks your DNS cache, uh, I believe. Um, you can read some of these. Uh, the only thing that I usually might do is do an NTP server. It just helps with uh, keeping the time. And Samba, um, if I want to connect my wife's uh, Apple computer and my downstairs Windows computer, 
but we'll do that. Um, SNPD, SSH for sure. We'll hit OK. Uh, no. Uh, this is, um, so hardware clock is set to local time. That's more if you're running a dual boot with Windows. Uh, I think Windows usually uses local time, but I think it's based off of your BIOS clock, though. And most BIOS clocks, again, from what I've seen, are local time. So I'll just say local time here. I am in central. And so this is the default window manager for X. So you have KDE, XFCE, Flux Box, Black Box, Window Maker, and then just Tab Window Manager or Tiling Window Manager. It's a very basic, uh, as you can see here. Uh, I'll just do the old KDE. We'll say yes. Do that, change it, hit OK, and then exit. And then we'll reboot. I might need to, uh, yeah. So that is Lilo right there. Uh, so if you were in a dual booted system, uh, you would have your selection, but we'll just hit Linux. And there you go. Um, so I will go a couple steps further, uh, just a little bit. So you will have to set up a username and password. So it's very similar again to Gentoo and those uh, text installers that you need to do. But it's fairly, uh, again, pretty straightforward. Uh, I did run into some issues. Um, if you do have the Slack 64, which is what this ISO is. Uh, it does not come with 32 libraries. You'll have to do that later. So we'll do a user add. Wow. Shows you that I haven't been on uh, regular QWERTY in a while. Uh, oh, geez, what is it? M, G, U, okay, yeah. Dash M, dash G, users, dot G, G. Uh, we'll just save that. Bash, then I, Irish. Oh yeah, okay, my bad. I forgot that, dash S, dash S, there we go. P-A-S-S-W-D, Irish. Okay, so before you uh, decide to update your thing, you need to select a mirror. Now, if you decided to go with the 14.2, ISO, you still can do a Slackware current. So we'll just do, uh, I think Vim is installed. Let me see. Yeah, okay. Quit. So Vim, Etsy, Slack package, mirror. So here are all the mirrors. Let me get rid of that, sorry. Um, so it starts off with the 14.2 and it is by alphabet, but if we go all the way down to the very tippy top bottom, this is actually the current. So let me actually do the 14.2 really quick. So here's the United States, so you just clear that out, hit yes and save, write and quit, 
and now you can just do slack pkg update pgp I believe now here it is oh gpg ah, I was close so that will do everything that it needs to do and then what you can do is just do update uh, it would be slack package install new or upgrade all so you would do an upgrade all after this so all it's doing is syncing to that mirror that we did select and that is it so you guys have a wonderful day I will try to get another video out if you guys want to see another video please let me know uh, what other distros you want to see and I will catch you guys in the next video